And actually, how do you? Yeah, in fact, I was going to ask you that. That there is one way of doing the scene that is working and that is feeling fine and it's feeling correct. How do you find? How do you? Because sometimes you get stuck in that rhythm and it becomes monotonous, and then everything is feeling mechanical. Like how do you? And sometimes there are twenty takes. And then I'm to for for me five takes ki baat. It's like okay, now I'm doing A B C. How do you break it in the middle of it when you have done it again and again and again, and now you are not exploring anymore? Now you're doing it. Yeah. How do you break that pattern? I, I think somewhere it helps to know why are we doing it again. You know, as in. I mean, sometimes the, sometimes the director will not tell you why they're doing it. They'll just say one more. Yeah, But, and sometimes it's some other actor, or sometimes it's sure. a mic boom mic. Agya, beach me, the cry and all of that. Sometimes it's stupid reasons. But you have done it so many times that now it's not uh, as spontaneous. Now it's all planned. Now you're, you know, doing it mechanically. Yeah, you know, I actually feel that starting points are very important. The way you start a scene can. Pretty much set the rhythm for the rest of the scene. Mm. You know, for example, like sometimes we, when we start on a false note, then pretty much that take goes on a false note. Yeah, yeah, And when we is. start on a very truthful note, then more or less you'll, you know, the truth is going to remain through a majority of that yeah, take. Yeah. So, a, one way could be that start on a different note. Like a different tone. Yeah, like a different uh, subtext maybe. Or a different hmm. way of just starting. Maybe when your line is there, go to some object in the room and do it. I know there's continuity and all that, yeah. but if you can just keep that aside for a second and do some things which will still match eventually, hmm. like do certain things which will just let you enter a different way. Hmm. You know, because if every time you want to start with, okay, I have to pick the phone and go like that, because you've been doing that in every take, hmm. it, it just Just that mm. action and the tilt of the neck, because that's your continuity, is going to make you do exactly the same thing yeah. all over again. Yeah. You know, and maybe you can say, "I want to start it differently," but of course, I'll come back to continuity. But let's try what happens, yeah. and maybe first feel the emotion, go to something, maybe say a line, then pick the phone, just do something, bring some change, and that one change can actually just break the rhythm, yeah. the monotony yeah. and the mechanics of it, yeah. and then. Uh, Or, for example, if you can't change the mechanics, and the co-actor is giving you something, and you've been taking that, for the next take, approach it slightly differently from what the character is giving you. Like interpret it slightly differently. Hmm. Like read in between the also lines. Also, we stop listening after a point. Yeah. Because we start preempting the dialogue. Because now we know we've done it twenty times. Yeah. So. So I'm not. So the what you're asking hmm. that the monotony or the thing sets in that very monotony somewhere in a very subtle way yeah. needs to be broken. broken. Of course, we can't change everything, yeah. you know. Yeah. But somewhere that needs to be broken, and some directors will allow you to do it completely, and some will say that they are going to give eighty percent same. They do, na. Yeah. You know, but nobody will say that one inch be here. Come on, it's not. I need continuity. No, it's not so rigid. No, people. Hmm. So that leeway you will have, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that leeway, most of the times, you know, yeah. you will get. 